Hello, my name is Melody Bowen. I'm a fourth year internal medicine and pediatric resident at the Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond, Virginia. Today, I will be sharing a case of an ischemic stroke in an adolescent male with echocardiographic evidence of rheumatic heart disease. As is commonly known, group A streptococcus is routinely treated in the United States, and this makes progression to acute rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease rare. Additionally, rheumatic heart disease is an uncommon cause of stroke in the United States, especially in the adolescent population. This is a case of a 16-year-old Honduran male who presented with two days of progressive unilateral weakness. On exam, he had weakness in the left upper and lower extremity, and he had sensory deficits involving the left side of his face, arm, and leg. His cardiac exam revealed no murmur and a regular rhythm. Laboratory evaluation showed no definitive evidence of systemic infection, hypercoagulable disorder, autoimmune disease, or vasculitis. He underwent an MRI of his brain, and this revealed a right middle cerebral artery stroke, which you can see by looking in the top left corner in figure number one. Additionally, he had a transthoracic echocardiogram, and this showed a 7 by 3 millimeter vegetation versus thrombus, as seen in figure two in the top right. Additionally, his echocardiogram confirmed that he met the World Heart Federation criteria for borderline rheumatic heart disease. So if we move over to the table, we can see what these criteria include, and that's having two or more morphologic features of rheumatic heart disease involving the mitral valve without pathologic mitral regurgitation or mitral stenosis. Moving back to the figures, figure three in the bottom left, you can see this parasternal long axis view shows that the patient has a thickened cortical apparatus as well as a thickened anterior mitral valve leaflet. Moving to figure four, you can see that the patient has a thickened anterior mitral valve leaflet in this parasternal short axis view. Based on these images, the patient was diagnosed with a cardioembolic stroke secondary to rheumatic heart disease. He was discharged on oral anticoagulation and monthly intramuscular penicillin for secondary prophylaxis. Thankfully, this patient has made a near full neurologic recovery. So rheumatic heart disease is a progressive disease, but it usually does not manifest clinically until adulthood. The Remedy study, which is part of the Global Rheumatic Heart Disease Registry, showed that 7% of patients with symptomatic rheumatic heart disease suffered cardioembolic strokes at the median age of 40 years, unlike this adolescent patient. Also, the World Heart Federation echocardiographic criteria can serve as a universal method to diagnose rheumatic heart disease in patients without a known history of acute rheumatic fever. And notably, it has been reported that 10 to 24% of children with borderline rheumatic heart disease will have disease progression. So in conclusion, rheumatic heart disease rarely presents in adolescents in the United States. This case speaks to the importance of expanding the differential diagnosis to include diseases endemic to the patient's place of origin. And as highlighted by this case, rheumatic heart disease has high morbidity and mortality if not recognized and treated early. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.